गुड इवनिंग गाइस गुड इवनिंग यस गुड इवनिंग गाइस शर्मिता यू आर जॉइनिंग आफ्टर मेनी डेज आई थिंक यस सर व्हाई और रिलेटिव्स के एम एंड एओ फंक्शंस ओके आई थिंक यू वाज एब्सेंट फॉर मेनी क्लासेस नॉट वन आर टू यस सर Last, when did you join for the last uh, class? Uh, one week ago, I think. Okay, you are in twelfth or eleventh? Twelfth completed. Twelfth completed. You are going to write JE exam, am I right? Yeah, yes, sir. So, do you know, have you gone through recordings? Yes, sir. So, may I know which topic we are going through right now? Yesterday, which topic we discussed? Differential equations. Yes, so differential equations we are going through, right? so and we started solving je equations that to previous year je equations so yes. and today also we'll be going with that today would be the last class for differential equations and okay. tomorrow tomorrow we will be going with the some other topic okay tomorrow okay. you as per your friend suggesting like in integration or some other topic anything we'll go with okay. that i just asked you people to solve uh, one second uh, what is your name uh, mohammad jafar I just ask you people to solve twenty second to twenty seventh question. Have you gone through that, beta? Yes. What happened, guys? Jafar, Pawan, Pawan, are you here, Pawan? Hi, Pawan. Yes, sir. Sir, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you, Pawan. One second. I am asking whether you have solved the question which I have given yesterday or not. Twenty second to twenty seventh question. Yes, um, Jafar. I asked you to solve yesterday. You are saying that I'll try tomorrow. Today I'm thinking to go out. I'll try tomorrow. Which means yesterday's homework you are postponing today also, and you are planning to solve tomorrow. What does it mean, uh, Mohammad? Is this the way to uh, is this the way to prepare for your JE exam? When is your JE exam? Tell me. you can't you can't be uh, like this for sure you can't be like this i'm sorry mohammad jafar and you cannot be like this i'm not you know i'm not warning jafar alone here i'm telling each and every one those who have not solved this belongs to everyone all right you within like you know uh, within 10 days within 8 to 9 days you are going to write your exam and i have asked you to solve the questions and you are keep postponing that you kept postponing that what is the point of coming and joining and listening the classes beta like you are joining on the time you are attending for all the classes it does not mean that you are solving all the questions okay so whenever you are solving the question whenever you are putting your heart and soul towards your preparation then only there is a meaning yes i am preparing for the je exam yes i am full fit for the exam yes i can crack the exam there is a worth behind joining my tuition 
please try to understand all this hope you all hear my voice pavan have you solved pavan sir yes sir i am having doubt in 25th questions good so and uh, as soon as you finish you have to send me the solutions in whatsapp actually okay if you are not sending whatsapp you upload in the whatsapp so i'll just cross verify once okay so please do solve this 25th okay. sum you are having doubt 25th sum we'll just solve it now okay see you have to solve like you know you cannot we cannot teach in this moment from the scratch from the scratch if you want to uh, like you know learn this is not the right time to learn from the scratch actually as as you also aware of that you cannot learn from the scratch in, in this particular moment isn't it yes okay the general solution of the differential equation he has asked that what is the question 25th right yes sir ah the general solution of the differential equation given to you so let me write here so let us write the differential equation like this 1 plus x square let us split that or else you first of all uh, write that as it is no problem 1 plus x square extend this plus y square plus x square into y square plus x y into dy by dx is equal to zero. So here what I am doing here is 1 plus x square and taking y square common. So 1 plus x square. Correct. Understood my point is equal to minus x y into d y by d x. All right, people. All right. Now again, what can I take common inside? One plus x square common and one plus y square. All right. So is equal to minus x y into d y by d x. Pretty clear. So let us go with this. You know, faster mode stuff now. So this can be written as one plus x square into one plus y square is equal to minus x y into d y by d x. All right. very good now here separating the variable variable separables method so 1 plus x square by x into dx is equal to minus y by square root of 1 plus y square into dy what i did here tell me i separated the variables all x family one side all y family one side okay variable separables after separating the variables what we do as per the differential procedure we will integrate that let me put uh, integral symbol here itself hope you are getting my point pavan ji uh, shanmita ji yes sir jafar ji hope you are getting my point i asked you people to revise the formulas revise variable separable i mean revise the different methods of differential equations revise integration formulas revise integration process so that you will understand until and unless you don't revise that you never understand this one yes you understand but you know it takes time to you know catch the point immediately okay yes so now how can i solve this type of question so let us go with the substitution method put put x is equal to tan theta okay so differentiation of differentiation uh, differentiating with respect to theta so what you get now x is equal to so 1 is equal to tan theta is nothing but secant square theta d theta by dx all right differentiating with respect to x not theta with respect to x all right so now dx is equal to secant square theta into d theta all right perfect so now sir uh, why you are using this you will get to know why we are using this now so okay chalo now let us do one thing uh, let us substitute the x value 1 plus 1 plus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but what 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but what secant square theta square root of secant square theta into in place of this dx i can write this all right so which is secant square theta into tan theta so d theta so this square this root will be getting cancelled so straight away can i write now straight away this full term can i written can i write that as secant cube theta people can i write secant cube theta directly secant cube theta yes, into d theta divided by x which means tan theta 
hope you got how i wrote from this substitute babu directly you will get it all right yes now now look at this here and uh, this one is going to be what now here uh, minus as it is so for substitution something for substituting something what i do here multiplying and dividing with the two hmm. now look at this here multiplying and dividing with the two okay this is what i get so now secant cube theta right secant cube theta then what can i do now hmm. so integrating that's it or else you do one thing uh, tan theta can be written as what secant cube theta can be written as what look at this here let me write here uh, tan theta can be written as sin theta into cos square theta do you agree with my point sin theta cos square theta can be written as what 1 by secant square theta right isn't it okay so here sin theta into 1 by ha huh, directly look at this here yes one why i wrote like that tan theta can be written as like that and now here i can write this as sin square theta plus cos square theta into d theta do you agree with my point this full term how i wrote that you have a direct question in cbsc this type of question you have now why i wrote like that so if i just simplify this full term i have to get that you know uh, the numerator part i mean the the above term this this term i have to get if i simplify this okay now 1 divided by sin theta into cos theta you will be getting as it is and uh, into cos theta okay so again 1 by cos theta secant theta 1 by cos theta secant theta again multiply divided with the uh, cos yes cos cube theta into tan theta you will get guys understood my point how i wrote how i wrote yes, did sir. you understand ha huh. or else yes, or else you do one thing or else you do one thing um, now what i do here is if i just integrate this what i am going to get tell me directly what i am going to get tell directly tell me what he is asking us to find the general solution of this yes now you try now you try tell me what is the answer of your question is going to be tell me after this very simple ra babu tell me pavan ji you got stuck here itself if i am not wrong now you can solve it very easily tell yes, me sir. yes sir i i will solve it sir now i am asking not later i am giving you one one minute of the time not more than that let's see who is going to give the answer he is asking for general solution then you can solve in different ways rabu you can solve in different ways i have solved in this way does not mean that you have to put in the same way okay and look at this i have got one more idea here i have got one more idea here we have taken this minus right hand side only right i can keep that minus to the left hand side and you know solve it okay that would be the uh, that would be the easiest method i think let us go with that method only let us try with a different thing but you uh, pavan ji you solve with the method which i told you solve in this way i'll solve in that way as well let's see okay keep solving keep solving so this is what i got here now can i write here this as um, y divided by shifting this one to the right hand side y divided by square root of 1 plus y square into dy is equal minus 1 plus x square divided by x into dx 
now after separating integrating on both sides i integrated this then what i am going to get beta now now let's take let uh, 1 plus y square is equal to you put t put this as t so 2y into dy by dt is equal to 1 so 2y into dy is equal to dt this is what you get now how can i solve this put 1 plus x square is equal to 1 plus x square is equal to what k square is something you take then what you are going to get 2x into dx by dk is equal to 2k all right is equal to 2k so now dx into 2x into dx is equal to dk into 2k 2k into dk okay any variable you take above nothing will happen okay this is what i got fantastic now can i just cancel 2 to on both sides happily i can cancel okay now let us take this as star equation from the star equation what can i do above now tell me um y dy right y dy is equal to what now 1 by 2 times of dt here so y dy half so 1 by 2 i am taking outside so 1 by uh, 1 by root t into dt correct is equal to minus as it is so minus as it is so m uh, what you are going to get now k by x what is x here what is x here so k square minus 1 into dx is what what is dx k dk correct understood my point are babu dx i substituted this to babu okay and this square root of is nothing but k square right divided by x is nothing but what k square minus 1 square root dx is nothing but what k by x into dk okay so after simplifying everything this one you will be getting that individually you have to simplify you will get the same what i wrote here okay now just simplify this this is the question given to you and uh, simplify this what you are going to get integral t to the power of minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so t to the power of minus half divided by half so 2 root t you will get right integral of this part integral of 1 by root t gives you what one second let me erase this 1 by 2 times of 2 times of root t correct is equal now here how can i solve this k square adding subtracting one so numerator part is k square if i add and subtract one thing i can split that are you getting an idea hello hmm now look at this here i can shift to the right hand side like this k by k plus 1 minus 1 adding subtracting 1 in the denominator k plus 1 into k minus 1 a plus b into a minus b okay all right k into k k square right so in fact k square here is dk is equal to 0 understood my point here 2 2 will get cancelled so root t as it is integral of k square plus 1 you have right so integral of this uh k square minus 1 k square minus 1 you keep it as it is no problem don't uh, expand that okay now here k square minus 1 plus 1 by k square minus 1 into dk into dk here is equal to 0 hope you are getting guys what i am did what i did here k square minus 1 divided by this one 1 divided by this one i just split it okay yes so this is what i get here this this will get cancel root t integral 1 dt is nothing but what simple t plus integral of this thing is what 
guys integral of 1 by x square minus a square formula into dx what was the formula 1 by 2 times of log of log of x minus a by x plus a this was the formula hope you are remembering that formula let me write that let me write that directly log of k minus 1 by k plus 1 is equal to 0 okay now look at this what was the value of uh, t and k my k value was t value is 1 plus y square and k value is what square root of 1 plus x square substitute that that's it you will get it t value is what 1 plus y square as it is plus t value is what 1 plus x square Plus one by two times of log of k. K is what square root of one plus. Sorry, I here k beta, not t. Here k k. Why? Because integral one into d k is what k or not? So k we will get this, not t. Okay. Then one plus x square minus one divided by. Plus c is equal to zero. This is the answer. Check whether your answer is matching with my answer or not. Any option is matching with this, beta? One plus y square plus one plus x square. One plus y square. Plus, oh, look at it. This option, this option got deleted. Either option A or C should be the right answer. Mm, plus minus ah, a minus plus. So option three is the right answer. Not even option A. So the option three, ah, uh, one. What what was the answer we match? One plus y square, one plus y square, one by two log. Answer is matching with this. Ah, uh, one by two log of. Yes. Now, guys, look at this here. We have to shift to the right hand side. Option A is correct, not C. Here we have is equal to in between beta is equal. Look at this. We have equal to symbol. If I shift to the right, uh, right hand side, becomes option A, not C. Okay, check it. One plus y square plus one plus x square is equal. To... Here I have minus right. That will be reciprocal. One by two times of log of one plus x square plus one divided by one plus x square minus one plus two. This is the answer. How how it happens? Tell me. If I take minus common, this is log a by b, right? Log a by b. If you don't understand, look at this. I'll give an idea. Log a by b can be written as Log a minus log b. Okay. Now how I am writing this? Log b by a I am writing, which means log b minus log a. I am taking minus common here. If I take this minus common, this is what happens again, right? Guys, hope you are getting my point. What I am trying to say. All these basic things you have to be uh, aware of, beta. So very simple point. So this is the option. Option A is right answer. And uh, we'll go for the next question. All these questions are like you know lengthy in calculations. So, but you have to make sure that you are solving all the things. Next, shall we go for the twenty eighth one? Twenty eighth one, twenty seventh, till twenty seventh, you have to solve, beta. Twenty eighth one, you have to make it now. Tell me, what is the answer for the twenty eighth one? What is the answer for the twenty eighth one? Answer for the twenty eighth one. Quick, Pawan ji understood the previous one. Yes, Anita, sir. Jafar, are you understanding? Are you listening the class?
क्विक 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 Right, pretty simple question. I am not going to wait now. Look at this very simple question. Y is equal to y of x. What he has given here? Y is equal to y of x is a solution of the differential equation. This one such that y of zero is equal to zero. Then y of one is equal to what? See, if you have observed many times, like you know, we have been observing this type of questions like many times, right? So look at this here. Y of zero is zero given. Y of one is equal to what? This type of question many many times he has given. So what he has given here? E to the power of y into dy by dx minus one is equal to e to the power of x. Correct. Now, so let us multiply this inside. I am solving very step by step, Rabu. Ah, uh, here d e to the power of y e is equal to e to the power of x. So now put e to the power of y is equal to. So e to the power of y. Into dy by dx inner function is equal to dt by dx. Okay, so now what we do here now? Mm, let us take this as star equation, and this is first equation. Substituting first in star equation. So from the star equation, now we can write this d dt by dx dt by dx minus t is equal to e to the power of x. Okay, now isn't it looking like a linear uh, linear differential equation? Linear differential equation. Linear differential equation. So what is integrating factor now? E to the power of integral p. P is what t. P one 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 into dx. Now minus one, right? So integral e to the power of minus x. This is my integrating factor. Guys, are you able to understand how I am writing this? This is looking like dy by dx plus py is equal to q. Isn't it looking like that? Yes. So it is in terms of t. So the p value is what minus one here. So after integrating that, I got integrating factor as minus x e to the power of minus x. So what is the solution now? Solution for that is t into integrating factor is equal to integral e to the power of x. Q into integrating factor into dx, right? So t value was e to the power of x into e to the power of y. So t value was what e to the power of y, beta. Sorry, I'm sorry. I wrote wrong. T value is e to the power of y. Here e to the power of minus x as it is. Integral e to the power of x is what? Hmm. Here this this will get cancelled. Why? Because Both are inverse to each other, so what do you get here? Simply x plus c. Integral one into dx x only, right? So this can be written as what? E to the power of y minus x. Basis are same, adding the powers x plus c. Now 
if you observe this properly beta look at this here here x value is zero and y value is also zero why because y is equal to y of x okay so y of x is equal to y then y of zero is equal to zero given to you now if you observe properly x value is zero y value is also zero so x comma y is what now zero comma zero okay so now x comma zero comma zero putting putting x comma y is equal zero comma zero so what is now zero minus zero is equal to zero plus c c value is directly one right c value directly one so let us take this as my second number equation so from the second number equation e to the power of y minus x is equal to x plus one correct so what will you get now yes so what is my answer what is the answer given to you 1 plus something yes given so how can i just solve after this yes look at this here e to the power of y minus x x plus this one can be written as what in terms of log he has given log everything in terms of log so that one can be written as what that one can be written as log base e to the power of x plus 1 correct not 1 yes ha huh. look at this here look at this here or else we'll do one thing What is y of one? Is asking y of one. Y of one is nothing but x value one. We have to substitute y of one, right? Y of one. We need to find out first of all what is y here. What is y? But what is y? Y is equal. Is what? Ha. Huh. Y is equal x plus shifting log uh, e to the right hand side becomes what log base e to the power of x plus one. Am I correct? Are you guys able to understand? how i am writing let me explain again let me explain again not y so this y minus x as it is beta if i take this e to the right hand side becomes log base e this x plus 1 as it is understood we have a formula what is y now x plus log e this one now y is equal to y of x e as given right so now y of 1 we need which means 1 plus log of e 1 plus 1 so log of log of 2 is base 1 plus log 2 1 plus log 2 answer a is correct 100% okay correct understood my point guys whenever you have something like this this is how you need to uh, find out the y value understood any doubt children see here if i have something like this e to the power of y is equal to something x then y what is y here log of x base e This is y value. Understood? Clear? Hello, guys. Hello. Understood or not? Hello. Am I on the mute? Hello. Mohan, uh, Pawan, Shanmita. Yes, sir. Any doubts? Any no, doubts? No, sir. Here? I got it. This question I have got. Very good. Hmm. Next, twenty uh, ninth question. What is the twenty ninth one? Better twenty ninth also same question, Prabhu. Same question. Twenty ninth one you take it as a homework. Twenty ninth one you take it as a homework. I asked you. I I just uh, I just shown you how to open this PDF in the Google Classroom. Hope you are aware of that. Thirtieth question. That is the question is interesting one. Some inverse trigonometric function will be involving here. So let's take this question. Look at this.
hope you can see green color properly can you see this green color properly which color do you want me to write if i write this white color again uh, while sharing the notes it will be difficult so pink color let us choose pink color y is equal to y of x be a solution of the differential equation this one and uh, modulus x is less than 1 very good then y of 1 by 2 is equal to this one then y of minus 1 by 2 is equal to dash okay so what you are going to get now mm. yes this is directly let me write from this differential equation directly i am writing dy by square root of 1 minus y square directly okay and uh, plus dx by square root of 1 minus x square is equal to 0 ha huh. now if you observe this properly if i integrate on both sides this to this to gaya if i integrate on both side what you are going to get ha huh. directly let me write this will be what sin inverse of y the formula this will be what sin inverse of x am i correct so zero can be written as what constant let us put it as constant ha huh. what he has given here ha huh. y of y of 1 by 2 is nothing but x value is what here x value is 1 by 2 and y is equal to root 3 by 2 okay now substitute let's substitute here that's it sin inverse of hmm x value is what x value was 1 by 2 and y value was root 3 by 2 then what is c sin inverse of root 3 by 2 plus sin inverse of 1 by 2 is equal to c uh, what are you going to get beta sin inverse of root 3 by 2 how much how much 60 am i right 60 sin 60 plus sin 30 60 means pi by 3 rabo bo sin 30 is equal to c c is equal to how much 30 plus 60 90 so pi by 2 am i right are you able to understand hello children have you got the point hello yes sir this is star equation so what i am doing now from the star equation again sin inverse of y plus sin inverse of x is equal to c means pi by 2 so we need sin y value right is equal to pi by 2 minus what we need here oh y of y of minus 1 by 2 right so which means i need to find out y value let us do directly let us do directly y value y of minus 1 by 2 i need which means sin shifting right sin of sin of sin of cos inverse of minus 1 by root 2 do you agree with my point now this can be written as what sin of cos inverse is nothing but pi minus cos inverse of 1 by root 2 cos of negative theta is still positive right so sin of 180 minus theta sin 180 minus theta 1 by 2 directly directly let us write direct, directly what is the answer options 1 by root 2 yes 1 by root 2 is answer 1 by root 2 is answer option c is correct option c is correct directly from this you can write 1 by root 2 calculate kar lo 100% you will be matching with the answer only 1 by root 2 only no doubt at all let me go for the next question guys let me go for the next question we are solving very very slowly and this question is a homework beta this 30 is first is a homework thirty first is a homework and thirty uh, second also you can solve it we have solved already 
थर्टी थर्ड वन थर्टी थर्ड वन यू कैन सॉल्व इट बट इट होमोजीनियस वी डेंट सॉल्व सिंगल क्वेश्चन बट विल गो विद थर्टी थर्ड वन which type of differential equation is tell me which type of dif differential equation is this guys which type of differential equation is this now you have to identify you have to imagine and tell me which type of differential equation is this Are you guys here? Isn't it a homogeneous? Isn't it looking like a homogeneous differential equation? Hello, are Babu? Look at this here. The homogeneous differential equation form. Homogeneous differential equation form. How it was? It it used to be like d y by d x is equal to v plus x into dy by dx and we used to take it as d plus x into dv by dx is equal to h of v something and we used to take v value as y by x like that please solve with that method solve in that method it is a homogeneous differential equation quick Okay, fast. last 15 seconds Sir, explain this question. Sir. Have you got an idea? No, sir. I told different uh, homogeneous differential equation, Rabu. 
if you know how to solve homogeneous differential equation this is this question is nothing actually okay dy by dx i request everyone if you don't understand any thing please kindly ask me okay this is directly uh, homogeneous homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation so what we do here we take y value as vx or you write this as v value as y by x correct so now dy by dx is equal to v plus x into dv by dx okay directly so now v plus x into dv by dx is equal to dy what is dy here dy by dx which is um, v into x square divided by x square into v square into x square okay so now if you simplify this what are you going to get directly you can write this as ha huh. look at this here i can take x square common in the denominator x x square will get cancel so v plus x into dv by dx is equal to v by 1 plus v square okay so 1 plus v square divided by and this v this v v cube into dv into dv not dx into dv is equal to minus 1 by x into dx separated the variables now integrating on both sides so 1 by v cube into dv plus 1 by uh, v into dv is equal to minus 1 by x into dx separated and just integrating it that's it so what are you going to get beta here tell me now uh, v to the power of minus 2 divided by minus 2 plus ln v minus ln x plus c that so minus 1 by 2 as it is into 1 by v square plus ln v is equal to minus ln x plus i hope you are getting my point now we know that v value is what v value is y by x substituting that v value that's it y by x right so you will be getting x square by y square after reciprocating it ln v is equal to ln ln v right y by x y by x or else ln y by x ln x plus c look at this ln x plus c ln y by x is nothing but ln are babu every step you know i can't write babu you write this as ln y minus ln x is equal to ln x plus the correct getting my point yes now here uh x square by you got this now x value is what here what is x value sir x there minus ln x na sir x value is down y value is one. sorry Minus L N X. My God, my God. Yes, yes, yes. Here, here. Minus L N X, beta. So it will be getting cancelled, right? Yes, sir. So it will cancel, beta. Yes, you are right. So X value is what now? One. Y value is also one. Substitute minus one by two. One plus ln one is equal to C. So minus one by two. C value is minus one by two. Am I right? Ln one is zero, right? So this is my star equation so from the star equation star equation so minus 1 by 2 times of x square by y square plus ln y is equal to minus 1 by 2 okay so minus x square 
by two y square plus. Ha, let me write directly here. X square shifting that side is equal to y square one plus two times of ln y. Do you agree with my point? After simplification, this beta you will get this. Check that log. Any mistake uh, in shifting there and here? X square shifted y square to the right hand side. Okay, okay. Hmm. That's it. Okay. Ah, huh. what we need to find out here? What we need to find out? We need to find out y of x is equal to y. The the value of x satisfying y of x is equal to e. Y of x is equal to e. Y of x is equal to e is nothing but that y value e, right? Then what is x square is going to be e square one plus two ln three. So two ln e. Two ln e. Am I right? So now x square is equal e square one plus Ln e square, okay. X square is equal e square plus e square ln e square. Correct. Yes. Oh my God. Then sir, ln e only, na sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. We can write like that as well. Your ln e. This can be written as one can be written as ln e. Two times of ln e. Can I write like this now? So three times of ln e. Now look at it here. Yes. E square. This can be e square into three. That's it directly. Ln e is one. Three. Huh? That's directly three. Ln e is one. Yes. So now x value plus or minus root three into e. Beta. Correct. So x value is what root three into e or minus three, which option is available? Option four is correct. Root three. Option four is correct. None of the options are matching other other than that. Option four is correct. Okay. So this is what uh, today's class is all about, children. Any doubts from this? No, sir. Yes. Please go through this, beta. Go and solve it. If you don't understand any steps in between. What you have to do here? You have to go and solve it again carefully. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.